Okay, everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. Um, if you're just joining us, we have tons of videos about farming, homesteading, some wilderness survival stuff. We're just having fun here at Whistle Thicket, so uh, check us out. So I'm doing a series on knots just because, you know what, I like knots and knots are cool. Um, we did our first video on the square knot, which is a great knot, but I'm going to um, show you a slightly more complicated knot but it's a knot that is really important, actually. If there's maybe uh, two knots to know, the square knot and this knot are great knots to be on that list. This knot can actually save your life, or it could even save someone else's life. Um, and that is the bowlin. Um, so the bowlin is a great knot used for uh, search and rescue. You can also use it to secure guidelines um, for dying flies. Um, you can also use it for sailing. Um, I've done a little bit of sailing, uh, but not that much. But um, a friend of mine, John, he has a YouTube channel, and he commented um, his channel is, um, it used to be a table full in the woods. Um and uh, he uh, actually commented that he thinks the bowling is one of his favorite knots. And John, you're right. It's a pretty good knot. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get this going. So we have our rope here. Um, I just have these ends taped so that it's easier to see the end for the video. That's the main purpose of having these ends taped. So again, this is a great search and rescue knot for lifting people if they fall off a cliff or into a ravine. Um, the nice thing is that it's easy to untie and it will not slip. It will stay in place. So that's really important. So let's go ahead. Our first step, we got a rope here. You're going to make a um, overhand loop. And that is really important. So an overhand loop meaning the rope is over the other rope. If you were to do it like this, you will not tie the bowl and it will slip and you won't even be able to make a knot. So this is actually a pretty important step. Don't do this, do this. So then what you're going to do, you're forming a loop basically. So this is the uh, rabbit, right? It comes out the hole, it goes around the tree, and then, oh no, something scares it, ah! And it goes back in the hole. And that is the bowline knot, or the bowline. Um, so I'm going to sh see how it formed a nice little loop there. And imagine if you were doing search and rescue and you had to rescue someone you had to tie this around someone to lift them out of something um this is a really a really great knot um so i'm gonna tie it again really quickly um you can actually tie this single-handedly um so imagine if you're in a crazy uh, a crazy situation where you only have one arm that you're able to make available so again easy you got the rabbit comes out of the hole, it goes around the tree, it sees something, oh no, I'm going back in the hole. And then you just kind of tight, tight, and you got it. Most knots, when you tie them properly, they look good. And this knot looks good. And it's also very easy to tie. So again, real quick, I'm gonna show you just one more time. The really important thing is that your overhand loop is like this. Um, so then from there, I'm oh sorry, that's not an overhand, that's an underhand. This is the overhand loop, right? So it goes over. Um, so then you're going to go through around the tree and this is going to be a very small loop but that's okay and then you go back in 
the hole. So this is the bowling. So again, this is a great knot. It could actually help people. Um, and it is going to not slip. So this is a great knot to uh, have in your list of knots. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe. If there's a knot you want to learn, you tell me what it is. If I don't know that knot, I will learn it and I will make a video about it. Until next time, keep on knot tying. Whistle thicket.